All right, let me let me see you push up on the on the ceiling. <laughs> a few months ago, I made a video about how I could no longer recommend purchasing a Winnebago RV, especially one with a laminated fiberglass roof. I think I stipulated that the years between 2012 and 2017 seem to be having bigger issues than uh, all the previous generations. Their build method doesn't seem to have changed between 2000 and 2012. I think the adhesive that they are using is different at Winnebago. Now, even though we've replaced a lot of Winnebago roofs on this channel, I'm not trying to sound the alarm on any coaches built between 2000 and 2012. Uh, with maintenance and upkeep, those roofs seem to do last. Even though you just watched me replace the roof on a 2003 Spirit, I think it was 2003, I'm back here over at Cassone's RV in Mesa, Arizona because they have a Winnebago from that era with the same roof failures that I pointed out before. And uh, I thought you guys would like to see it. And more importantly, this is uh, probably the worst Winnebago roof I've seen yet. So I thought I would go ahead and record this to illustrate the problems that we're seeing ongoing with Winnebago roofs. All right, Chad, let's take a look at this, huh? Let's do it. What year is this again? Is it 2014 or 16? Well, that's one or the other. Could be. Could be somewhere in between as well. All right, so this is a sightseer, and they've already started tearing it apart. 2014. 2014. Right the first time. Take a look right here. This looks kind of familiar. The ceiling's actually on top of the uh, slide out. Just holding it up a bit. It's just keeping the roof from collapsing. Uh, kind of, well, this slide out room's out, right? This a little bit. Ah. All right, let me, let me see you push up on the, on the ceiling. <laughs> but the good news is the ceiling is uh, mounted to the foam really well. It seems to be some sort of adhesive or design failure. Right, Scott? Uh, design failure. <laughs> they already have the rear cap off, but it looks like from behind. A little lackluster. Wait, wait, you can't go up yet. Okay. All right, so what's the story about this one anyways? Well, uh, tree branch. Hit a small, very small tree branch. Pushed it a little okay. bit down and uh, down then caved it in. Yeah, so this looks pretty bad. Holy Jesus, so soft. You didn't notice it's Winnebago's new trampoline roof. <laughs> new trampoline roof, right? I think I said something about I can't recommend Winnebago's anymore because I think they have an issue. Granted, the tree did this. But, uh, Luckily, it cleared that. I don't even know what to do. That's one right here. A big hard spot. It's breaking through. Well, we're taking this off anyways, right? Yeah. Something's should we, there. Should we do it? Oh, I think that's a rib. That's one of those ribs. That's one of those uh, sheet metal ribs, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there it is. All right, so we're agreed. You shouldn't hit an AC with a tree, but that definitely didn't cause all the delamination back, there. back here. This is where the actual wall is. Even in the bedroom, you can see all the... Yeah, you can see all the, all the ribs. All right, so we got another roof to replace, huh? Yeah, another one by <laughs> Look at it. I'm going to see you straight edge up here. I know. I mean, it's hard to appreciate how concave the roof is. It's sunk down in there. So lengthwise. All right, so Scott got us a straight edge right here. Wait, wait, we got to leave it right there so I can show that there's a crown. See, we're, at the, we're touching in the middle, and then we're spaced out here by an inch, uh, inch and a half or so, yeah. And that is a straight edge, it's not bowed or anything. Take a look down there. It's not at Home Depot lumber. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're touching on the radiuses there, right? And on the radius over there. And so now we can definitely see that low point in the middle. <laughs> Instead of touching here, we got a one inch gap. Three inches off. Yeah. 
So it's sunk down a little bit. Now, if you walk on it, no, go walk on it, Chad. We'll, we'll watch it grow. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, the worst part, is not, that's not even the worst part, I think. I think the worst part's going to be from the skylight to that yeah. front. You want to go lengthwise with it now? Because I think there's going to be like a five inch drop between the, that wall and the front cap. All right, let's do it. Because this is uh, there's a wall right there where the shower is. So it goes all the way from the floor to the ceiling. <laughs> okay. So now we can see the low point even more pronounced. Uh, yeah, and the end of that is still in the low. Three inches, and we're still in the in a valley down there. Right there. <laughs> so, yeah, not only is it low side to side, but it's low front to back. Almost like a bowl. Luckily, luckily there's an AC right there to plug the hole. Oh, wait, that's not what you want the AC for. It only has a foam seal on it. So, yeah, needless to say, this one's getting a new roof. Kind of looks like he's updated the uh, skylight, though, at some point. Well, that looks like a um, Icon Direct skylight to me. Yeah. Because it's nice and thick and durable. Mm-hmm. And obviously Salsa. Winnebago doesn't use a <laughs> uh, roof repair tape. It's eternally bonded there, except for when it wasn't. All right, so they got... Scott and Chad working on this. This has been a, lot, a long ordeal. Part of the agreement on the last roof job I did was I was gonna help them with this one because I had to borrow their shop. But they were able actually to secure the phylon material from All Right because they had a month to wait. I didn't have a month to wait. Good news is they've already done some of the work that I don't have to do. Cause Scott's a hard worker. And Chad Just run manages everything. everything well now. He's a hard worker too. But yeah, this roof is awful. This is one of the worst I've seen. This is the worst I've seen. Like, Easy, you're gonna fall through. Right? Like the yeah. Headliners. So, the I think the luon's definitely separated from the the foam, right? I would agree. So the phylon is bound uh, is still stuck to the luon just fine. It's whatever the gluing surface, whatever glue they're using. To secure the, the foam to the Luan, I don't think it's holding up to use. That's why I'm having a hard time recommending Winnebago's anymore. You should be able to see all the seams in the Luan where the Luan's just kind of like peeled up from the, the foam back there. Just yeah, it, it just cups. I don't know if we can see it through the skylight or not. You can see it through here. Yeah, right there. Right here? There. You can see it delaminating here. Fill up on that, pick up on that piece right there. Got our... Oh yeah, see? Yeah, the foam... <laughs> The adhesive let go of the Luon, which is the, the wood there, but the Phylon's bonded really well to the uh, Luon. It's just some sort of uh, glue issue yeah. that Winnebago does not want to come clean about. And it's a laminated roof, and the entire strength is in the lamination. Not this one. <laughs> Luckily, slide out supporting the roof right about there. If there wasn't a slide there, it'd be a lot worse. Yeah, it would, uh, it would, yeah, it would have collapsed. I mean, definitely don't hit a roof, don't hit your roof AC with a branch, but that did not cause all this problem all the way back here by any long shot. And they stopped, and man, it's just loose. It just feels like I'm walking on a sponge. The only spot is right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably it. Yeah, it's right in the hallway, so there's a hallway wall right yeah. there. So this is going to be the next project, the 2014 at Winnebago Sightseer. Uh, do be careful, guys. I... I don't like to belittle companies, but I do want you guys to look, be on the lookout for Winnebago's between 2012, uh, 12, 13, 13 to, to at least 17, right? Yeah. yeah it sounds about right. It seems like the, uh, the bad times or the dark times. Maybe the newer stuff is uh, too new to have adhesive failure yet. No in two years. <laughs> so they're going to go ahead and tear this off completely, get the front cap off, and then hopefully we'll be over here in a day or two to help them put a new roof on and we'll figure it all out. Last time we glued all the foam together and then we extended the decking on the side, add foam strips underneath there. Hopefully you shouldn't have to add any framing because that's a hard one to do. Let me ask you this. Have we seen this on any of the roofs that are white? 
that it might just be because this is a tan phylon? Because it seems like tan phylon seems to be having an issue on sidewalls too. So we had, the last one was a tan root because it was also a sightseer. Uh-huh. Well, that was a sun cruiser, I thought. Sun cruiser. Yeah. I don't know. You guys did one in between without me. Well, we did a sun cruiser and a sightseer at the same time. Okay. So we had the blue one. Right. That was just delaminated and ripped off. And we did one with a similar color paint scheme, which was the... 16 and that one had the tan roof with the same issue right i don't even know why they went with the tan phylon on the roof if anything it should have been white because it's a roof you want to reflect as much heat as you can but we also even went, did, even tiffin with the black uh paint on the sidewalls has a white roof because it, it's but we did the we did that one class c with the bago that had the same style Foam core roof. Yeah, but that was a flat roof though too, right? And you had the TPO roof that had a problem it was, too. It was the TPO. Right. Not fiberglass. Right. That one buckled. But that was uh, the blue one loose from the foam still. No, that one was buckled because there wasn't any fiberglass. <laughs> TPO is not as strong as fiberglass sheeting. Okay, that so is to say, we could try to order a new roof from Winnebago, right? You could try. I mean, it'll probably be six months. It'll be about $40,000, right? For the new roof and shipping. It's probably going to do the same thing. And it will be the Winnebago's construction. So in two years we'll be doing it again, I guess. Why are you so mean to Winnebago? What did they ever do to you? They gave me all this roof work. So that's the plan. They're going to continue tearing this thing apart. I'm going to go install an inverter. And then hopefully I'll be back in a day. And we'll start rebuilding this thing. Ah, you got me. Man, look at that. Thing's loose. Ow, I hit my head. If there, so, was, if there wasn't a sweat, ooh, ooh, I always okay. do that. It will know, know soon. Oh, so, so I, I did also get that Navion job. Okay. Should be coming in in two weeks. Dang. That's the original Winnebago sealant too, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's holds <laughs> All right, so we agreed it's 2014, right? Correct. All right, and this is uh, 2022 currently. It's almost over, but this uh, clear coating. Industry standard to start it, stop. All right, what do you think? Yeah. Four years on it? Yeah. It starts to do this after at least four years in the sun, right? Out well, here it does. Some other states would be better off. I mean... You think of it as good high quality uh, auto body paint, should at least give you 10 to 20 years, right? Well, it's not a... What? Well, it's not a Tiffin. Uh-oh. Oh, dang! Tiffany uses Sickens. Oh, Winnebago uses Sherwin-Williams? Uh, <laughs> depends on what they're feeling like. What's they're feeling like? Okay. I guess even more shade from Chad. I guess what? Chicken Well, that. But I think my uh, inverter just showed up. I can't see him from here. Looks like I'm gonna be leaving here shortly. Go install an inverter. And so even though I've done a lot of Winnebago roof replacements, now even though I've done a lot of, now even though I've done a lot of Winnebago roof, re, even though I've done a lot of Winnebago roof replacements, uh, now even though I have done a lot of Winnebago roof replacements, 